have seen what my dragon can do. You have seen with your own two eyes and now you believe. Thank you for your time and good night. Okay, in you two go. Hmm? The hell is back here already? Demetrius McDowell? That's me, but... I'm Bailey Crater, and this is Will White. You were amazing tonight. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, hey, listen, I don't really do meet and greets after the show. Oh, oh, wait, no, we're not fans. We... Where'd your accent go? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What he means is we're actually here looking for work. See, we uh, heard that you had to fire your last crew, and you don't really ask a lot of questions, so... <sighs> You're both hired. Wait, what? Really? Yes! Thank you so much! You won't regret it! Pretty sure I already do. Get to sweeping up the stage. Will do! <sighs> Man, I hate being broke. This is so freaking sketchy. <laughs> yeah. Sketchy, smelly, and just all around unsanitary! If I don't get to him first, then certainly Tatnus will! Greetings once again, dear listeners! You didn't think I was gone for good, did you? I certainly hope not. I've got something truly diabolical in store for little Willie White today. This doll, you see, is no ordinary slightly creepy burlap sack. It is the key to pure and utter agony. Imagine the worst pain you've ever felt. Now triple it and make it continue on and on <laughs> until you're dying. <laughs> Will and Bailey began their questionable work with some crummy voodoo magician who seemed about as authentic as a black market watch. So, is that a shield on your back or something? What's that all about? Oh, uh, it's uh, just a little something I picked up at a gift shop somewhere. So, uh, how do you do all those magic tricks like that? I've never met a real magician before. Mm, first rule of magic, never reveal your secrets. Oh, come on. I promise I won't tell anyone. Cross my heart. <laughs> Second rule, promises ain't worth the paper they're printed on. Boy, you sure are fun without your phony act up. I don't believe I hear you sweeping, boy. Uh, actually, I've been wondering about that. Why do you put on a fake accent when you perform? Folks love a good show. The accent helps me sell the magic. All magic is essentially an illusion. I'm just doing what I can to add to it. <laughs> you think of something funny up there, Chuckles? You talk big, but you don't seem to know that much about magic. Will, don't be rude. We're broke, remember? Why are you copping an attitude all of a sudden? Because everything about this place is a lie. You paint yourself like this big deal voodoo master, but I'll bet you don't know any more about it than I do. Ugh, Will! Oh, the boy was getting mad now. This might be my chance to strike. I've seen the real thing, and you're nothing but a fraud. What kind of magic you seen, kid? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. Oh, don't listen to him. He just hasn't been the same since his parents told him Santa's not real. <laughs> Will, you're supposed to be the cautious one. I peeked out from behind a nearby pillar. That's when I drew my needle and drove it straight into the belly of the dog. Will, are you okay? Yeah, I... You do not look okay, boy. Take a bit to sit down, or... I drove the needle deeper! <laughs> Will! Kid, what's wrong with you? That's why they call it the Doll of Agony, folks! I took that moment to step out from my hiding place, revealing the doll and the needle jabbed through its gut! Oh, I can answer that! Behold, the doll of agony! With this, I can select anyone I want, and they experience anything I do to it! Oh, you again? How did you find us already? And who are you supposed to be? I'm sorry, but we got... Oh, no. Oh, you seem to recognize this thing. How interesting. You know what that is? Yeah, I know what that thing is. I made it. You. What now? Girl, take the boy to my dressing room and lock the door. This is gonna get messy. Uh, no, you don't understand. This guy is insane. I said go! Uh, 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 
<laughs> Who the hell are you? The name is Rudolf Rob Karnikar. I'm here to kill the boy and take his magic weapons. Rob Kar? No way. You're supposed to be ancient. Um, rude! <laughs> okay, locking door. Oh god, oh god, what do I do? Will, speak to me! No, you're burning up. I I don't know what to do. I I What did he do to me? What did he do? I don't know. Will, I don't know. What was that? It's him. Rob Karnikov's gonna kill Demetrius. I can't move. It hurts to breathe. I'm gonna die. Don't say that. I... Will, I need your back. I have no. to help him. Please, don't leave me. I'm sorry, Will. I promise I'll be back. Wow, you're really annoying. That was an understatement. As it turns out, this was no ordinary man I was dealing with. He had magic tricks to counter everything I threw at him. Lucky for me, I knew I was wearing him down. And I still had plenty of fire down below! <sighs> Where did you get that? How are you still so young? It's a long story and we're running out of time in this episode. For now, let's just say your grandfather had a lovely parting gift for me when we last met. You... You... That's right! He's dead! And I did it! I sometimes wish he were still alive so I could kill him again! <laughs> okay, I I can do this. My weapons are magical and ooh, ooh. Don't do nothing foolish, girl. But but you're out there with Like I said, magic is essentially an illusion. Rob Karnikov's been fighting smoke and mirrors this whole time. Now listen carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Any last words before I send you off to meet Grandpa? Yeah. Made you look. That's when the table suddenly turned. The man I'd been fighting all this time faded into thin air. What? You mean I threw all those bullets at someone who wasn't even there? That's a dirty trick. That's my thing. Funny. You know what my thing is? What? I whipped around and spotted Willie White standing there, his bat and shield in hand. He... he was standing there and not suffering from the pain of having a metal spike jammed through his body. How are you standing there? Well, you were fighting your own shadow. The real Demetrius turned off your stupid doll. See for yourself. I could hardly believe it. I quickly pulled the doll out of my pocket and jiggled the needle in its belly as much as I could. But nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> but that's when I heard it. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, you nearly had me fooled there, magician. Now where are you really? I turned my back on my attacker, thinking it was just another illusion. I quickly learned... <laughs> it wasn't! That was the real old-fashioned bat! And when it reached my posterior... <laughs> Flying over the horizon again, and I dropped the doll of agony. Wow, I did it! I beat an honest to goodness super villain. Had a girl. Now let's get you looking like yourself again. Whoa, that was so weird. I've acted before, but never under so much stress. You got a real knack for this. Now let's get that pin out of that doll. That should do it. Go see if the boy's any better. Right. Will? Will, are you any better? Yeah. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to lose you. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I was so useless. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, that spots. That was the same spot I was hit last time, too. I can't believe I fell for the double inverted reverse switcheroo. The oldest trick in the book. Well, today wasn't all bad. I may have technically lost, 
but the seeds are planted for an epic victory next time we meet. I'll just have to strike while the iron's hot. Ow! But not while my rump is hot. Ow! Ow! The pain! The pain! <laughs> Water bottle, bat, can of tuna. I'm sorry, Bailey. It was nice while it lasted. This series is dedicated to Stefan Carl Stephenson. You will always be number one. Also, be sure to follow me on my Twitter account to stay up to date with all things Fighting Leaf, Conan Bell, and Willie White. All links are in the description. Also, I have a brand new project. Ladies and gentlemen, my first ever card game, Rise and Shine Kingdom. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And time-consuming.